All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are going thrifting for golf clubs, still on our road trip. We're heading up towards Indiana, but never know what you're gonna find, so. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Well, it looks like they got a whole sporting goods section over here and some golf clubs. Looks like we got a full set of the Ultimate by uh, Northwestern. Oh, those are some Hogan uh, shaft labels. Oh, what yeah. are they? Oh man, there's a bunch of them. It might be a full set yeah. and the golf clubs are only $2 a piece. Oh, the percussion control apex blades those things are absolutely stunning that's crazy oh it's all the way up to the two iron no, if this is, is a full, full set, set that is you guys know we're huge hogan collectors this is gonna be awesome <laughs> what is that no nope, that one's not one but almost a full complete set of the uh, ben hogan apex percussion control that's pretty amazing, that's pretty amazing. Okay. two dollars a piece can't beat that no. whoa that water tower is pretty awesome but how about that for a start literally didn't think we were going to find anything today two iron all the way down to the nine iron of the ben hogan percussion centers well let's see if we can't keep things rolling here in this old school goodwill oh they do have golf clubs and they've got a bunch that's actually a very interesting way that they have it set up oh there's like full iron sets We've got some mcgregor tourneys yeah i think these are the mts i figure what they're called mt tungstens those came out like right before the uh, v-foils the v-foils are my favorite at uh, mcgregor irons looks like we got a bunch of wooden drivers up here some northwesterns didn't look like i think they're all laminate doesn't look like any of them are persimmon get some stylus the players edition trend that's cool how they have all these full sets i wonder if they like keep the single irons back there they don't even have them oh well, you got a john da oh the single irons are over oh, here we got a john daly iron yeah. fila iron oh another it's very well organized oh yeah mcgregor uh tommy or i thought that was the uh tommy armor mcgregor mm -hmm. tourney custom tourney custom all right oh, Oh, there's a Medicus. <laughs> Sweet. This one yeah. do not want to practice on. Yeah. Well, I want to practice on that because it's not going to break. It'll there make my go. swing look good. But uh, lots of uh, cool stuff in here. Uh -huh. The uh, Goodwills have this many clubs. It's a good sign. Yeah. Nothing for us, but we'll meet you at the next spot. All right, next stop, play it against sports. Whoa, we got a bunch of clubs in here. Oh man, looks like a ton of iron sets over here. Let's see what they got in terms of prices. Ping G400 going for $250 on that one. Two epic flashes right there. Oh, check out this epic. Whenever we see the rogue, the paint wears off, but this one's like non ex what Yeah, is like, happening? I don't know what's up with uh, Callaway's. Uh, I don't know, lettering or printing or something like that, but it always wears off. Oh, you got a Nike Mock Speed SQ. It's my favorite of the uh, square drivers. It's my favorite, although it has a very loud sound. You need earplugs for that. Guy. Yeah, if you have earplugs, you're good to go. <laughs> but of the uh, square drivers, the best looking one, which isn't really saying much. $110 on that an acquired one. Acquired taste on that an one. An acquired taste for sure. Oh, you got a Cleveland Bloom. You want to start oh, yes. your uh, lefty career? <laughs> Not today, thank you. Ping LS going for 249 what else do we got over here? We got a set of Ping GTs going for $2.99. Oh, we got a flat cat. I think it's like the weighted grip thing. Yeah, Justin yeah. Rose used that for a while. Ping crazy? Yeah, $99 on that. Ping crazy. What else do we got? A couple of uh, combo sets, or actually three sets of the combo. Adam's oh, Idea yeah. irons. Got some rack OS's, our friends. We used to find those all it's the time. Like, everywhere. Yeah, every other thrift store, there would be a rack OS. Got some Callaway X12s. Oh, we got a uh, Hanma driver over here, Twin Marks. I don't know why I get excited about the uh, Hanmas. I never hit them good, but they're kind of cool to find. $60 oh, on that one. Oh, oh, there's more iron. What? What? That uh -oh. is beautiful. Yeah, when she makes that sound, it's definitely some Nike. <laughs> that is awesome. Looks like the uh, bag that Brooks Kepka used for a long time. Well, his was a staff bag, but it was all white. It was cool. Yeah, it's out of our budget. That's <laughs> yeah. cool to look at. That's crazy, though. That's brand new. Yeah. I don't know how you would like some. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, yeah. Must have been a Nike rep or something. Even use it first off because it's kind of scuffed up. Yeah, the way that we uh, throw stuff in and out of the car. <laughs> they throw clubs in there with bad grips. I don't think it's going to be. Well, man, they got a bunch of disc golf stuff. Not as much as the golf club. Yeah. We got a uh, Phil Mickelson grind wedge over here going for. Well. <laughs> Dropped the most expensive glove in the uh, store. $120 on that one. Got a Jaws wedge, old school ping yeah. eye. What else we got over here? White Hot Rossi XG, a bunch of uh, ping putters. We got the Answer 5, Answer 5K, Ping Zing 2, and the uh, Ping Answer with a sound slot. Look at the colorway, it's like Christmas on this oh, one. Oh yeah, White Hot number <laughs> like 9. Green and red. The prices on those are kind of high still, because mm. uh, Phil used a model very similar yeah, to that. Yeah, not bad. Not bad on that one, if you're uh, in the uh, festive mood. Wait a minute, this one's got a steady camera grip on it. Oh, Odyssey, <laughs> Odyssey uh, Dual Force. <laughs> there you go. The grip's worth almost more than the uh, club. Nice. Yeah, let's check out the woods over here. Oh, here we go. We got to get something for our ID. has got a Nike Mock Speed Junior. Oh, Start nice. the Nike obsession early. Ah, 
God. 25 bucks. I feel bad, but you have to do it. Yeah, imagine showing up. You give that to uh, our niece in one of those bags. There's only It's only downhill from there <laughs> yes. if you're a Nike collector. What else we got over oh, here? Guess trip or guess trip. Oh, yeah. Let's see which one it is. It's super Stroke was... grip on it. We got oh, I think that, yeah. Yes, Robin. This one's really cool. It's like a mixture between a Ping uh, Zing Putter and a like Bobby Grace Low Pro. Oh, yeah. That one's cool. The mm -hmm. prices on Yes stuff, because they made so many models, but some of them weren't popular, but those ones are now like going up in prices. Like the Tracy 2, because Matthew Fitzpatrick used oh, it for a long time. And then now he has like a Bettinardi clone of it. Huh. I'll plug this one up there. Yeah, I'll look that one up for sure. Oh, he got a uh, PXG 2. It actually killed the uh, PXG driver yes, we got last did. time. $149 on that one. It's about eBay price, not bad at all. Mm. What else we got? Old school Titleist Pro Trajectory 975F. I had that in the uh, UST Pro 4 shaft. Mm. Oh, here's a UST Pro 4 shaft. Oh, it's the V2 <laughs> in a uh, tailor-made V-Steel tour spin. This would have been like my dream setup in high school. Couldn't hit it then probably, and probably still can't hit it, but we're going to find out yeah, one way or another at 20 you bucks. You need to know. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> That's pretty All right, awesome. let's uh, check out the clubs back here. Some Callaway X Forge 599. Yeah, tons of iron sets. I thought those were the uh, yeah. only ones. What else we got? Some MP57s. MP67s and the 32s are my favorite yeah, of those right, the era. Of mine, right? the yeah, those are the pro, pro version of yours. Not, not fancy. They're just a little bit harder to hit oh okay so minor freak i'm good with everything's that. fancy when you use it <laughs> got a set of a uh, ping rapture v2s left-handed remember we saw the uh, the comp on that uh the ping rapture v2 that lob wedge crazy. it's like 175 dollars sold so someone actually yeah paid somebody that. actually paid that that's props yeah. to the uh, seller on that exactly. one i don't think i would uh, charge that much <laughs> no. but we're gonna look up that yes putter it. and we're definitely getting the uh, v steel it's, and i think our niece, with our niece no, no we can't travel across the country empty-handed for no. our niece all right <laughs> updates to come well how awesome is that there were actually all viewers in there and they hooked up the world's greatest putter with the putting professor I have no excuses yeah now. you have to uh, make a poet that but yeah. that's the uh, evansville play it again sports super mm -hmm. cool uh, guys in there and got some uh, good deals got the tailor-made v steel the uh, mock speed jr for the niece yeah. and the uh, yes robin putter that was a pretty good, yeah, pretty good uh, stop. We'll meet you at the uh, next spot. Whoa, check out these Yes bags. These are absolutely amazing. I've never seen a Yes staff bag before. Yes, please. Yes, please, <laughs> definitely. Let's see how much. This one's 120. Uh, uh, I think it comes with all of the uh, Cleveland yeah, uh, TA5s. 60 by itself. 60 by itself. Oh, I think these are MP32s or MP67s. MP67s. I have a set of these with uh, Aldi La Envy shafts in there. They're so nice. Dynamic gold S300s in these ones. Mm -hmm. The faces are in really good condition, too. <laughs> Oh, hold those ones. I think these are Ping S59s right here. This might be like the treasure trove. I have no idea how much the uh, clubs are. I don't see a price tag. Yeah, S59. Bubble won the uh, Masters with these. How's it going? Uh, there's a price on this, but I didn't see a price on those. I was wondering what the best you could do if we got both of them. It's right there on the handle. And they're 30% off. Oh, okay. oh, okay. Everything in the store is 30% off ticket price except for firearms and jewelry. Two for you. Okay. okay. Well, how about that for a deal? We ended up getting both sets of irons for about $300 when they both go for about $300. And then Ashley got her Yes bag. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. But uh, we're at the Walmart. We're headed out to one of our favorite golf courses to test everything out. And I didn't think we were going to find any golf clubs. I don't know if we're going to find any golf balls here because we have run out in this golf course. There's only one creek, but we tend to find it a lot. So yes, we do. stay tuned for that. One of our favorite golf courses in this very exciting Walmart. Oh, they do have golf balls. Actually got a pretty good selection of golf balls. Got a bunch of nitros. That was our most popular video for a long time. Nitro golf ball review. I'm just creeping in the background in that one. Yeah, that was before Ashley was in the videos. <laughs> Got some Vice Pros. Oh, this is the Drip, $35 on that. Check out the stitching on this Adidas hat. Not the highest of heads <laughs> character. What are you feeling? Vice Pros, sure. Vice Pro Plus. We'll get the Drip. That's why I don't think I'm plus worthy. Yeah, maybe it'll sparkle when we uh, hit it into the creek. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check out this golf course. It is $10 Tuesday. We are playing for $20 total, tax included. Yeah. It's about 30 minutes away from Bloomington, where Ashley and I both met at IU. Mm -hmm. First hole is about uh, 270 yards. You can't really see the flag over there. It's basically just right over that hill. Well, I'm not gonna There's going to be some anyway. super uh, entertaining yes. holes. We're going to play a little five-hole alternate shot mm -hmm. challenge. We can shoot even par or better. We'll get ourselves a treat. You guys know the uh, drill. We're playing five holes today because the fifth hole is Epic. You're definitely going to want to stay around for that. Yes. But uh, first hole, you want to go first? Uh, Sure. I think this is the longest club we have, though. There you go. You don't want to go with the two iron? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we can do. Oh, that is wow. crushed. 
<laughs> over the hill. Ashley with a 13 degree stiff flex uh, three wood. <laughs> Bombed it right down club. the middle. There you go. <laughs> well, I didn't even think I was going to be able to get that club off the ground, but I hit it better than my club. So I don't really know what that says about my game, but John's got about 100 yards left in, but I'll tell you more as soon as we get up there. All right, got about 110 yards left. I'm going to go with a little chippy ping S59. Play it like Bubba. He like hooks his wedges. Uh-huh. Probably not as good as he is, but we'll go with it. Bubba will be proud. Bubba will be proud. That ball's kind of hard to see in the air. The shot chasers yeah. are going to be fun. Well, it almost looked like I knew what I was doing right there. We got about 17 feet. Ashley's going. Are you going with the yes putter? Yeah. Yes, Robin. Man, the greens are looking good too. This is like one of the really few courses that you putt better on. Yeah. Than well, me. Well, whenever we get to bent grass, I putt better. Yeah. Bermuda I'm not used not to friend. it. All right, uphill breaking to the right. Think it's gonna be fast? No. Super slow. <laughs> they look good, but they're usually not very fast. I know. That's why I'm I'm nervous. Oh, that could be perfect. Go 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 go! Oh, oh that was the right line. No practice though. Yeah. It's busy today. $10 Tuesday has got all the girls out. Yep, that'll do it. Leaving me with a, uh, a par putt's never a good idea. Sorry. Also, this is the most boring hole we're going to play, so stay tuned. Boop. Woo! I don't know how I feel about the ball's looks. No, Performance pretty like good. Speckles. Also, comment below if you've been here long enough to remember when we did uh, golf ball reviews. That's all we did. Oh, yes. The old school. Yeah, sorry about those videos. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but we, uh, don't forget, we have our 150,000 subscriber giveaway going on, speaking of a long time. But uh, all you have to do is comment on one of the videos this month and that will enter you in to win a brand new TaylorMade Stealth. I think this might be uh, the last video of the month. Yeah. We'll count this video because I've already said it, but this might actually go out after the month. Yep. To be determined. Well, stay tuned. Stay tuned. This next hole is going to be very fun. And as you can see, this is why I went first on the last hole because this hole is a beast. Yeah, hopefully I can get it over the creek and then you just have to play. You have to adjust for like basically 100 yards uphill. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the fifth hole though is basically yeah, you can see doubly as downhill as this is uphill. Preview. Sneak preview. That hole is so much fun. Carry! Carry! What? Did it carry? I think we're good. I kind of lost it. We'll find out one way or another. Yup. There are always some really big fish in here. Yeah, we used to wait until the golf course closed and then go fishing. So much fun. Yeah, small mouth heaven. Whoa, I almost rode the green. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Also, is this good camera work? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ashley's down the hill. It's only about 20 yards short. I think this hole is about 320 yards, so that is the longest three that I've hit in a long time. Oh, Ashley hates uphill wise. This is. Whoa, that actually worked out perfectly. Also, I was thinking the whole time this is a trust building exercise of you standing there. Yeah. I was afraid oh, you're hey, gonna shake it into out. my head, but that worked <laughs> out pretty good. Yeah. I gotta say I like the golf balls, but they're kinda hard to see. Yeah, the speckle does not help. It's hard to see. Also when we were checking out at Walmart, there's a fish on the back of the uh, box. Yeah. And the lady was like, This is some really weird looking fishing tackle. I wonder if Vice has started to like make fishing gear. Yeah, Ooh. I don't know. They're from Germany, so they Who got knows? trout fishing and stuff. Let's see if we can't uh, get a birdie here. I miss this course so much. It's so like awkwardly it's set up. We'll go over the history of this course. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. It's gonna break quite a bit. Yep. Oh. <sighs> I think you can make that. Yes. Also, look at how uphill the next hole is. We're gonna be playing a hole downhill, both there. of these holes. If First that time you sense. took me here, I was afraid that the cart was gonna like roll over at such a steep hill. Yeah, they're so steep that they have to have gas carts. Electric carts won't make it up. Mm -mm. Testing the stabilization here. Come on, cart. We got a little bit of weight on the next hole. I figured we'd go over the history of the course in yeah. the most awkward setup ever. We're like uh, 
I feel like it's this story is, time. Yeah, we're like reading off the script and there's someone holding a gun to our head. <laughs> but uh, this course is super cool. So this was basically all a farm and then the owner of it really liked golf. So he basically made a giant backyard golf course and then opened it up and now his son is running it. So it's oh, really awesome. It's nine holes, but you can play it twice. But yeah. it's, it's $25 to play golf all day today. Yeah, unlimited golf. Unlimited golf. But if you're ever in the uh, Bloomington area, kind of like in between Bloomington and Terre Haute but much closer to Bloomington mm -hmm. so definitely check it out one of our favorites and you'll see why it's very bizarrely done but some of the holes just like turned out epic oh it did. the fifth hole fifth hole without have we have uh, mentioned that yeah there were actually the fifth hole one time someone said I hit a really good shot because it, it goes straight downhill yeah. and I hit a really long drive and I felt really good about myself yeah it was your first compliment besides me on the golf course <laughs> I made it over the creek. Confidence builder. <laughs> that was the day that started the world's greatest putter. Yeah, yeah, the, the confidence, the world's greatest driver too. World's greatest driver. We'll need that on this hole though. Although your tee box is way up there. We'll show you this really quick. Story time is over guys, sorry. Sorry. Do this as smooth as possible. Check this out. So basically you hit a pitching wedge to the top of this hill and then a pitching wedge to go down the hill towards yeah. the green. But Ashley's tee box is way up there on the top. So. Thankfully. Before these trees built up, you used to be able to take a blind Yeah, corner. you used to be able to hit like an eight iron basically over these trees that you'd be right out of the grade. Now it's pitching wedge, pitching wedge. Like I said, very bizarre setup, but it's super fun. It works. 10 bucks, you can't beat it. No, not at all. Well, this is the first. I had to wait for the green to clear. I've never driven a par four before. Might Today's happen. Today's the day. Today's the day. Oh my Whoa. goodness. Oh. That Dude. might be over the grade. Too short. I think we're close-ish. Close-ish. I'll take close-ish. Oh, I think it is just, is that a ball? Is it? Is it? No, I think it's just short. We will confirm here in a second. Oh my goodness. Oh. Also, I'm trying to hold the camera still. It's impossible. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're getting motion sickness, so am I. Off-roading. Oh, it came up just short of the green. Pitching wedge, flop shot. I can only see like half the hole. It's gonna be fun. Oh, I think it might be just off the back of the grade. Oh, okay. World's greatest putter might need to be world's greatest chipper. Well, Ashley has chosen to putt it. Probably a wise decision. When in doubt, putt it out. <laughs> oh, that could go in. Birdie, birdie. Oh, no, sick. Oh, man, I think broke like a ton. I think even you can make it from there. Yeah, though. we'll prove Switch. that, though. <laughs> no one believes I could make that. I like this putter. It looks goofy, but I like it. Yeah, I like it too. It's got a nice feel. Uh-huh. All right, the next hole, if you can see, it's got like a uh, stair so you can see where your ball lays because it's so uphill. It's pretty intense. All right, going with a Stinger 2-iron, the Ben Hogan. Dog leg to the right. There's three trees right in the middle of the fairway that you got to kind of go under and around. It's a fun hole. Oh, it went through them. Thread the needle. Well, I'll just pretend that I meant to do that. Yep. Well, we'll just pretend that's what I meant to do because that ended up perfect. You want to go with the, uh, we'll go with this one because it might be uh, roots under there and the pings are indestructible. Yes, they are. Don't want to nick up the, uh, the Ben Hogan's or the Mizuno's. Also, did you see your ball like bounced on the ground at my tee box really? and kept going? I don't think the shot tracers are going to like you much on that one. Totally meant to do that. I don't think the shot tracers are going to work. It got an inch off the ground. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nasty lie. It was like kind of in a hole. That was definitely not what I meant to do, but at least you can. Yeah, chip we can from still there. chip that in for Barty. That chip didn't feel that in for Barty. That didn't feel very pleasant. <laughs> These Mizunos look so sexy. Probably hit the pigs better, but looks wise, the Mizunos. Definite winner. Bump and run, pitchy wedge. Set. Oh! Gonna be relying on the world's greatest putter. That's a downhiller. Not my yeah. favorite, but doesn't phase the world's greatest putter. Not your specialty. Go, 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 go. Dang, just money. <laughs> Literally the world's greatest putter. Doesn't matter what she putts with, doesn't matter what greens, doesn't matter if you can't see the ball two feet away from it. No big thing. No big thing. All right, next hole is kind of goofy, so I'll let Ashley explain that one. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, well, if you're new to the channel, I am not very good at math. This is hole five. Hole number six is the one with the uh, epic uh, views and everything. Yeah, so it's get... also not as goofy from uh, my tee box. It's only about 100 yards. It's way harder from yours. Yeah, you have to like go through a gap at the trees yeah. to uh, hit the uh, green here. I like but... mine a lot better. Mine has like a slope off to the right, but as long as I avoid that, I should be okay. Yeah, next hole is what do you want to look for? Bonus yes. hole. Bonus, Bonus hole. hole. There we go. <laughs> math. <laughs> Oh, go, 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 go. Please go, please go, please go. Oh, 
That's gonna be an interesting shot. I think we should have taken an extra club or two. Or two. Well, I didn't hit that very well, and John's gonna be paying for my mistake, so he might find the ball and maybe a few ticks. Hopefully, no snakes, though. All right, now I feel really bad. Are you gonna be able to make it down there? Whoa. This is what we do for you guys. <laughs> do it all for the YouTube. Uh, get more views if I just fell straight on my. Uh... Yeah, we could make a short go viral. Yeah. Hey, we have a short that did 25 million views for some reason. Some reason. Undetermined. Whoa! You're okay? See, I'll do that in Indiana, but I won't do that in Florida because there'll be snakes. There's no snakes in Indiana. They don't live here. Well, not. Yeah, there are, but. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You can check me for ticks later. Also, go stand by where the hole is. I can't see it. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. Hold on. Making the hike up there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see me at all. Can you? No. Here, I'm going to put the club up. Can you see this? Oh, okay, cool. Just wait for the ball to come up. Okay. Are they good? Oh, sit. You're good. We're a little long, but we're good. We didn't die. Sweet. Oh, gosh. You okay? Are we good? You're good. We're a little long, but we're good. Oh, man. That's the shot of the year. Yeah, that was good. Whew. I'm sorry about that. That's my bad. You can check me for ticks anytime. <laughs> All right, Ashley, for a world-class par. I don't know if we deserve one, but... At least I can do after what you did. <laughs> World's greatest putter! <laughs> ah, no. Luckily, the next hole is a par five. <sighs> Hopefully, we birdie that with our extra hole. Yes, bonus hole. If Maybe. I make this putt. Got the perfect lie. What? Whoop. The shadow. Oh. It's like the training aids. Sorry, I didn't mean to distract you. <laughs> I need all the uh, non-distractions I can get. I can't I putt. That's my bad. We got to use your putter. We're saving that for the last hole. Oh, yes. Hopefully it's for eagle or birdie. Uh-huh. Make it worth it. All right. Here is the uh, sixth hole, which I thought was the fifth hole, but this is the, the money maker right here. Check this out. Probably a, what would you say, 250 foot drop? Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. And there's a creek right in the middle. We haven't found the creek yet, so we're bound to find it on this one, but check this out. It's Definitely done. not in uh, Florida anymore. We've had played some awesome courses so far on our little road trip, the uh, Paris Landing in uh, Tennessee, mm -hmm. and now we got this one. $10 though. Really? You can't beat that? And 25 for Unlimited? That's yeah. insane. Also, I don't know if we've said the uh, name now that I think about it. Pine Woods. It's yes. in Spencer, Indiana. Absolutely <laughs> stunning. And a lot of fun. All right. Luckily, the white tee box is a little bit up today because... We don't have a driver? We don't have a driver, and hopefully this can carry the creek so you don't have to mess with it. Still a pretty good hit, though. I've never played from this tee box. I have no idea where that's going to go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, it carried. I'm glad you didn't play for a uh, driver. Yeah. The driver might have been on the first hole. Uh -huh. Also, this dog legs to the left. The uh, the hole that you see out there is actually the first hole. Yes, it is. Oh, the carts don't have a... Oh, no. The carts don't have a governor on them anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. You used to just be able to let it rip and then it would like kind of like stop itself but not anymore. Remember what it used to be like we play here in the morning and there'd be dew. You could literally get the cart to do like a 720. Yeah, I didn't enjoy that. Also, I don't know if this footage is usable because I'm getting sick. Yeah. My bad. Whoop. Oh, thin to win. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, stop bouncing. Well, it's not very often that we hit it over the green at a par five with a uh, three wood and a pitching wedge. At least you don't have a long putt. Yeah, at least no long putt, because I'll have to chip. <laughs> See if we can't chip it in for Eagle at the old Hogan. Go, 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 go. Oh, go, go, go. oh <laughs> that should be, hopefully it's a birdie. Yeah, nice shot. Thank you. Oh, world's greatest putter with the putting professor. One of the smallest putters. Yeah, ever. I was afraid I was going to, well, good thing I didn't have to putt with it because yes. I would have missed the face. Well, there we go. And then they're out with the birdie. Yeah. Nice putt. 
Thank you. Oh, the treat of the day, a peanut butter cookie from Blue Boy, a little bakery right underneath the uh, Buzzkirk Chumley, kind of a famous theater here in the downtown of Bloomington. Kirkwood Avenue. Yeah, right through there, Kirkwood Avenue is uh, IU's campus where Ashley and I met. Don't know if we've mentioned that enough, <laughs> but uh, how is it? That's very good. Very good. I'm a peanut butter fiend, so I might. Like I think we're going to like it almost as much as I liked those Ping S59s. You were hitting them so Yeah, good. I was hitting them so good. Those are the closest I've ever hit and felt to the uh, Titleist 990 DCIs, my favorite irons of all time. Mm -hmm. Those ones might be going straight in the bag, the Ping S59, yeah. straight into that Yes bag, which was so oh, sick. That's so cool. And I really like the Yes putter, too. Yeah, that the Yes awesome. Robin. You were putting really good with that. Mm -hmm. But uh, overall, a fun day. We've been having so much fun. We kind of like skipped a couple of days yeah. over. But, Just hanging uh, out with family. Yeah. And we got to take our niece to our first garage yeah, sale. Yeah, we went to the first garage sale. <laughs> we went to three. The first one, we tried to uh, get her to negotiate on some Beatty Babies. She yeah. wasn't having it. But by the end of the day, she was... Uh, she was talking to people. Yeah. It was fun. It was kind of, was fun. of fun. Not kind of fun. It was very fun. Yes. But I uh, hope you guys did like this video if you did like button subscribe and Let's well i gotta try the i gotta try oh, the uh sorry, yeah. really forgot. Whoa, bikers i missed the bikers mm -hmm. breaking away was uh filmed here yes it was very famous movie dennis quaid's one of his first movies one of his first if yeah. not the first Does it pass your inspection? He's very picky about peanut butter cookies. <laughs> if you dipped it in peanut butter, it would be good. Yes, that's why. <laughs> Hope you guys did like this video. Don't forget, we have the 150,000 subscriber giveaway going on, so make sure that you enter that. Hope you guys did like this video. Don't like, subscribe, and... And we'll see you next time. I don't want any more of them. <laughs> <laughs> You're picky about... You don't like sweets. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>